What up, Super Fun Force? We have a retro unboxing for the Carbonized Incinerator Trooper. Uh, this is a, a pretty cool trooper that came out from the uh, iconic scene in the first season where, you know, Din Djarin, Grogu, uh, Cara Dune, and um, Grief Cargo were all, uh, I guess, pinched or cornered in the uh, saloon. And uh, they brought this guy in to uh, heat things up, so to speak. And uh, this is a carbonized version here, which means it has like this glossy finish, kind of like a caramel gloss. And it actually translates into the package. This is the first one that I got carbonized. Uh, I think it's cool. You know, I don't know if everything needs to be carbonized, but as you can see, the entire package has that, you know, glossy treatment to it. And it's also significantly thicker. Definitely a lot thicker. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to do a quick raw unboxing. Uh, I think, oh, I see why, because it's under, no, it's not underneath, is it? No, okay. Um... Yeah, I'm actually, I guess I'll keep the card. So I'll show you guys here how I do that on camera. We'll just use a, I usually, usually use a Swiss army knife, but we'll use uh, this blade here. Uh, I think it's nice to keep because that actually looks really cool. And you know, I don't know how many carbonized uh, figures I'm gonna end up getting. But yeah, I just get up in there. You know, just get as flat as the blade will let you. And then just, you know, slice through. Uh, I think it's always good practice as a knife user, survival gear and everything. Uh, whenever possible, you want to slice away from you. It's not a good, it's not a very good, good idea to slice the blade towards you. You want to slice it out. So, almost done here. I should take the blade in a little bit more. There you go. Yeah, and this will keep the card from getting ripped, basically. Be pretty much it at this point. Okay, I'm gonna try to slice. I'm gonna do some left-handed slicing here, just to get right underneath here. Oh, that's kind of interesting because it gets underneath the package right there. So I'll slice still away from me. Well, let's just go like this. And I also recommend you don't do this kind of stuff on camera because it could be dangerous. But again, I'm slicing away from myself. So there you go. There's a little bit, a little bit of like a edge there. Not so nice. Maybe I'll take that off. But otherwise, boom, that's in good condition. We can put this away. Get right into it. Uh, this will be pretty quick. But yeah, okay, so, okay, three layers because one for the blast effect. Wow, this thing looks really, really impressive in person. You know, I've only seen uh, carbonized figures on video. Here's the blast effect. I think these are great to have. Um, I think that uh, the more figures, especially deluxe figures that get them, uh, that's perfect. The good news is here. Oh, this is tricky though, because it's like through the hole. I don't know. Oh, let's see. Does it disconnect someplace? I don't think the gun disconnects, so I guess you gotta push it through the hole carefully. That's a little bit of a unfortunate because even the handle is kind of big. Okay, so that's a little bit interesting. But there you guys go. Start taking a look at it right there. There's the uh, the backpack. As you can see, the cable is a little bit of a, you know, it's a flimsy, malleable, but firm uh, plastic. And then this just is gonna plug in for us right here. Now there's those two little prongs right there. So as you can see those two prongs, so you're gonna wanna kind of put the flame effect. There you go. Ta -da! Dude, that is incredible, incredible. Um, yeah, really, really nice, has some great articulation. It does unfortunately have the, you know, those fixed like ankle uh, you know, I guess the bottom of it, the piece here is all fixed. There's no ball joint in between the, um, in between the foot. There's nothing in the ankle, basically. I'll move this out of the way. Maybe it'll stay more focused on this now. Um, but yeah, it looks great. Interesting, you know, they do a little bit of a quick paint app on it, but it still looks nice. You know, it looks a little off right there, but again, I don't know if you guys can see that. I try to put the light directly on it so you can see the, the gloss and the shine. Looks really good. It's also even treated on the flame backpack. 
Well, it is kind of a funky hand. The finger goes out, you know, extends pretty far. But hopefully you could still hold it. I mean, oh, I, I guess you have to make it that far because the finger is going to try to wrap around. Sorry, guys. Let me see if I can put this in for you. Because you want to get that finger to also wrap around the trigger guard. See if it's possible. Okay, I think it is. Not bad. See, almost reaches across. But there you guys go. Really cool. Um, and, you know, I'm going to build a little bit. I, again, I don't collect a lot of bad guys. But, you know, Stormtroopers are so iconic. Um, and I like how they now add colors on them. So you can get, I think, a good squad going. I'm putting together, like... You know, I guess you could say like a multicolored uh, squad with these guys. Woo, look at that, shooting it right at you. <sighs> but yeah, looks great. Um, yeah, only thing is, you know, the new ones, as you guys saw, I have the artillery trooper, which has the uh, ball joint at the ankle, so you can also pivot the foot left and right, which is really cool. Uh, <clears throat> so hopefully they, we see more of that. <coughs> um, excuse me. Yeah, I would like to see a lot more... Um, Posability, but again, this is definitely great for what it's going to do already. Um, but wow, look at that. So awesome, guys. Definitely recommend this if you like The Mandalorian. If you want to start doing some troop building, but you want to like, you know, you want to set up dioramas and scenes, but you want to have a variety of stormtroopers. I mean, this is the one that you got to have. This guy here uh, did some major damage. Uh, spoiler alert, the only reason why uh, Cara Dune, Grief, and even uh, Din Jaren did not get... Uh, Completely incinerated was thanks to Grogu. And then again, there's the pack. And then I think the, in this line, they also did, yeah, those other characters. I was thinking of getting the armorer in Carbonized. We'll see. All right, guys. Well, they are collecting garbage outside, and that's my cue. Let me know in the comments what you think below. Don't forget, keep your face, say your prayers, spread that love, be positive, be thankful. Coming back at you. Peace.